He did 41%. If I'm not right, I've not been fenced. Correct? 41%. And when they have not been fenced, of course, you know the implications of this. It creates porous areas where all manner of people can access the school, including people who want to peddle drugs. And there are some schools which have been victims of that. 14% of our schools have been encroached upon by land grabbers. 14%. And we are doing this, we are doing this grabbing. It's your brother, it's my sister, it's a Kenyan like you and I. And someone has said, when this grabiosis is taking place, a professional is involved, and I'm happy I'm Bani or here and others. We must rain on our professionals who engage in some of these vices. This era of protecting others, even when they have been engaged in these crimes, really is very unfortunate. In other countries, we blacklist such people. We register them so that they cease to, to practice at all because they are in danger to humanity. Cause a lot of untold stress. Every time we make a ruling or we give a direction on what to be done, the grabbers run to, run to court. And I don't know why it is so easy for them to get uh, injunctions, uh, prohibitory orders, without us being asked. Because, you see, this is a public institution, really. Public uh, interest overrides individual interest. So we wonder, what is this order that is given to evict a school? Can you imagine that? An order is given that the grabber is right, like what happened in the Sumbeyo, uh, Sumbeyo Primary School, that the grabber is right, so the school should leave. Where are we? During the time when there was an, exp uh, an increase in students, number of students, many communities volunteered to give out land. Now they are refusing. Muranga, we have had a Muranga case, uh, very many cases in Muranga, Nyeri, uh, Nakuru. We have had cases in um, Makueni, where communities are now demanding back. We want to tell those communities, once you donated, it is now public land and they should not bother the, the, the schools. Shulayan, who raised awareness with over 4 million people engaged, and were gathered through 21 semi-structured interviews and 11 field observations <coughs> impact of land grabbing. What we did is um, the totals in Mombasa, 7.4 acres were grabbed, costing approximately 74 million shillings. In Nairobi school. Now just to highlight, for Nairobi school, it's zero, zero because they were an ankle and a broken hand. Up to August 2016. Thank you. ...of the uh, report to um, uh, Professor uh, Kaimeni. Maybe a few words. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, in an effort to protect these spaces, these public spaces, particularly in schools, and ensure that all public schools are audited, surveyed, protected, and titled, we are launching today a multi-stakeholder rapid response survey initiative that will primarily focus on the expedited survey of all public schools land in Kenya. It's a great dream, isn't it? It's at the click of a button. You should be able to say we have this a kind of schools, yes, we titled it, universities, colleges, like that, easily, without any problem at all. 